you can make your very own crystal earrings using a variety of sew-on crystals. And for this pair, I'm using pear shape. And for this project, what you will need is right here, along with a pair of jewelry making tools. And these are the tools that I'm using today. We'll start by opening up one of our jump rings. Make sure not to pull it side to side. Give it just a little twist to move it forward and back. One side moves forward and one side moves back. Take the small teardrop. Oops. You're gonna use that jump ring to connect the earring hook and the small teardrop together. And then you're gonna close it back up just the same way you open that jump ring. And the second jump ring, give it a little twist to open it up again. And you're gonna connect both of the pear shapes. Now I glued rhinestones around the larger pear shape. Of course, they don't come like that. You don't need to glue them around the pear shape. I just wanted to do that to add a little extra sparkle and make them look even nicer. Sometimes you gotta use your tools just to squeeze the um, jump rings closed. All right, so the first earring is done. We're gonna repeat those steps to make the second earring. Normally, I would do this a lot quicker and a lot more coordinated, but I am reaching my arms around a camera right now, and, and I'm looking over the camera, but I'm still showing you how. <laughs> and we'll still get them done. When you're putting them together, make sure that both of your crystals are facing the same direction because you'd be surprised sometimes if you're not paying attention, you have your whole earring made, one's facing forward and one's facing back. In some cases, your earrings will finish looking sideways. And if that's the case, which it is here, there is a really easy fix for that. All we need to do is add one more jump ring to each earring and you'll attach that right underneath the earring hook. And to do that, we're gonna have to take the earring hook off.
Now for this pair, I used a smaller jump ring for the additional jump ring because it's not going around one of the teardrops or another crystal shape, which you need a little bit bigger of a jump ring to go around the crystal shapes. But to attach one jump ring to another jump ring and then to the earring hook, it doesn't need to be that big. So it's okay to use a smaller one. And if you don't have a smaller one, just use the same size that you've been using. second jump ring was just what we needed to get these earrings to face forward. And you can use any color and any shape of sew on to make your very own beautiful pair of earrings. And I hope this helps.